So what's up guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I will be showing you 5 advanced good lock settings you must enable right now. These are some very useful settings which you must enable in your phone and by the way we are on the road to hit 20k subscribers so make sure you smash that subscribe button and also let's have an aim to reach 200 likes in this video. So with that being said make sure you watch the video till the very end to avoid any possible errors. So let's get started. So the first setting is going to be notification on the left while quick settings on the right. So as you can see when I swipe in my right side I can access the quick settings immediately and as well as when I swipe in the left side I only get the notification. So this is a very useful and an important feature. So let's go ahead and set it up. Okay so first of all go to your good luck application. Then click on quick star, then click on the option which says open quick panel directly. Click on that and make sure you turn it on. And then make sure both notification and as well as quick setting is turned on and both of them are kept in 50%. And if you want your notification to be on the right and your quick settings to be on the left, you can change that in the app. So customize however you want it to. So let's hop on to the next one. So the second setting is gonna be about the quick button grid. So if you want to have more icons in this section you can do it. So click on the three dots and you will find an option called button grid. So to enable this option which says button grid you have to go to good luck. I'll be doing that in a while. As you can see when you have this on you can choose on how much apps you want. So now it's set to medium and then go again and set to narrow so you can see you have you can have more icons in this so if you wish to have it more you can have okay so now let's go to the app and I'm gonna show you how to get that button grid option in your notification panel so go to good luck then click on quick star and turn on the option which says show quick button grid so once you turn it off you can see when I go up and click the three dots the option won't be there and when I go and enable it and when I do it again you can see the option is available and now let's hop on to the third one so if I wanted to go out somewhere and you see that your battery percent is so low I have a solution for it head to good luck scroll down and click on routines plus And then click on low battery announcement. So choose the battery level. So what this does is when your required battery level comes. So for example if it's 15. A message will be said from your phone speaker. So this is going to be the message. Charge your phone. So you can edit for whatever message you want. And it's up to you. Then click on save. And then next time you won't be having any issues that you didn't charge your phone. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, a sub to the channel would be appreciated. So the fourth setting is gonna be about the pop-up view. So using an app and you want to make it to the pop-up view, so you just drag it like that and you can choose and get it into pop-up view. So this is a very useful and a handy feature. You can use your app in a small one screen or you can even resize it by dragging it once again. So this is actually great and it's so useful at times. So let me show you how to activate it. So head on to good luck as usual and let's do it. So once you're in good luck, click on multi star and then select the option which says pop up view action. And then you can uh, choose the gesture size. So drag the slider and choose your preferred gesture size. I like to keep it in around 35%. So that works best for me. And let's go and do a small test once again. And you can see when you drag it, you get your pop-up view. So this is a very cool and handy feature and I recommend you to do. So let's hop on to the next one. So for the fifth one and the final one, it's about immersive screen. So when you go to a split screen view, for example, you open two 
apps so I have opened Google Home and then I'm gonna open calculator you can see the notification bar on top as well as the navigation bar on the bottom is visible so this take a bit of the screen space so to disable that and take the whole screen as the split screen view go to good lock and then once again click on multi star and then turn on the option which says immersive mode now we won't be getting the navigation bar and the notification panel when you're in split screen view so let's go ahead and test it once again As you can see the navigation bar as well as the notification panel is not visible. To make it show you have to just swipe it either up or down and then it shows. So that's all for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it and loved it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and as always see you guys in the next one.